Hello everyone. Are you tired of seeing the same default tooltip appear when you hover over a data point on your visuals? Interested in learning how to build out a custom tooltip while also getting to experience the new on object interaction feature that was just released with this month's new Power BI update? Then check out this video. Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. Be sure if you have not already to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post here at Pragmatic Works. Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build a custom tooltip, but in doing this, we are going to take a look at doing it with the new on object interaction feature that has kind of, it's really switched things up with our visualizations pane and how we build and format our visuals inside of the Power BI desktop. All right, let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do here inside of the Power BI desktop is we wanna open up that options menu from the options and settings section over here inside of the file menu is where you can find this. And we want to go ahead and check this off here so we get this turned on. That will prompt you to restart your Power BI desktop. All right, so here inside of the desktop, now with that new feature turned on, you can see that we have something different up top here. What used to be the visualizations pane that was located over here, uh, outside of the data pane and between the data and the filters pane, we now can find the visuals up here. But I'm also gonna show you how you can right click and add visuals into your report canvas. Um, and I'm gonna do this as I show you how to build out a custom tooltip. So if you're not familiar, a tooltip is this little pop out that you see right here that is currently showing us the state that we are hovering over is the state of Georgia and the state of Georgia is showing 93 failed banks. So this data is data that I pulled from the web from data.gov and um, I will include that link in the chat as well as this file if anyone would like to follow along. But in order to create a new custom tooltip, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to add a new page down here at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and rename my page here to custom tooltip. That way I know what this page is. All right, so to get started here, we wanna go ahead and start building out our tooltip. But first, it's a good idea to tell Power BI to treat this page as a custom tooltip. Now, previously, we would do that over here in the visualizations pane and in that format section but we can't do that here just yet. What we will do though, is we can right click here and we can select the format canvas and watch what this is gonna do. So now it opens up that format pane. So it's tucked away until we begin, um, until we're ready to add visuals. Here in this page information section, we can modify the name, but we already did that. But here is where we want to change the page type from standard to tooltip. So we wanna make that selection now. You're then gonna see your page size will shrink down much smaller and it's going to be much more appropriately sized to be a tooltip and that's what we want here. The next thing that you're gonna notice is this section right here that says show tooltip on. This is where we want to bring in the data that we want to connect to our visual for when we want this tooltip to appear. So what data do we want this tooltip to appear for? Here is where I'm gonna select the state column. So I'm gonna select state here now, and that's going to allow this tooltip to function how I would expect it to. When I hover over that visual from the report summary page we were just looking at, the failed banks by state visual, this tooltip will now appear there. I'm gonna select the fit to page 
option down here just so this is a little bit easier for us to see as we begin building out. All right, so we can come in here as well and we can expand this canvas settings section just below the page information and we could go in here and we could modify the page size if we didn't like the uh, predetermined tooltip page size we could go in here select custom and we could modify the page height and width here I am perfectly fine with the size of our tooltip page so I'm gonna leave the setting here now we could also come in here to canvas background and modify the page background color. I'm going to leave the background, but I'm going to modify one of the visual backgrounds here in just a little bit, so I'll show that here. So we could come to the top of our ribbon here and we could select a visual, but I am so, so excited about the ability just to right click and select add visual. And so you can right click on the report canvas and then select add visual. And we will see a visual uh, template appear. And then you're gonna see this little box here. And we can immediately begin adding a visual if we wanted a stacked column chart, stacked bar chart, a line chart, a table, or a card visual. But if we weren't looking for any of these visual types, we can hit from this drop down here and select from the list of built-in visuals inside of the Power BI desktop. I'm gonna select this standard map visual here now. And then I'm going to right below where we selected that map visual. I'm going to select add data here in this data field. And I'm gonna bring in this city state column that I have uh, created. I concatenated this in Power BI, or excuse me, in Power Query, inside of the Power Query editor. And I'm going to add this to the visual here now. So another new feature that is really, really cool and exciting is you can um, modify the visual and you can modify the title by double clicking right into the title here. And we could rename this if we wanted to. And so we could name this failed banks by city state if we wanted to and we would then see that new title appear there on our visual. I actually don't want a title at all in this visual here just because I think it takes up a lot of space and the report is pretty simple. So for this example, I'm just gonna toggle that title off. And now what I wanna do is I wanna resize my visual a bit here. So this map's taking up a little bit too much space right now. So I'm gonna toggle uh, one of the corners down and then I'm going to drag this over here now and resize this here. All right, uh, I'm gonna add one more visual here to this now and so I'm gonna right click again, select add visual and now I want to add a card visual. Now for this card visual, I'm going to select from this data section, I'm going to bring in this total banks measure that I've created and there we go, that is added into our soon to be tooltip. And I'm gonna resize this here a bit just so it matches the map and what I have set here. All right. I'm gonna drag the, the corner of the map over here just a little bit so that it matches up with my card visual. All right, the next thing that I wanna do here is I want to go in here and change the size of my font here. So the value here, the callout value is set to 45. I'm gonna modify this to 30. I'm also gonna change the color to something that I feel will better match my report summary page. I'm also gonna go in here and modify the category label a bit. I'm gonna drop that size down and I will change the font to match this as well. And lastly, I want to change the background color here. I'm gonna go with this purple here and 
that is it. All right, let's go ahead here now. Let's go over to our report summary page and let's check out our tooltip in action. And there you go. Now we have that beautiful custom tooltip that will show not only the number of failed banks, the total banks that have failed for that state that we brought that total banks measure into that card visual, but we get to see a little close up of the state there. And so this is a much, much better feature than that uh, basic tooltip that we saw there uh, when we first opened this report. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want more content from us here at Pragmatic Works, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you have not already. If you're interested in learning more from us here at Pragmatic Works, be sure to check out the link in the description below to sign up and gain access to our on-demand learning system. There we have classes on Power BI, but also all of the tools inside of the Power Platform like Power Apps, Power Automate, as well as Azure classes solely focused on DAX and many, many more. All right, everyone, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.